Rule 25, delay of game. Delay of game has three basic elements to it. Uh, a significant slowdown by the player that has the ball, being defended within two horse lengths by an opposing player, and having control of the ball, meaning you're not uh, battling for the ball or you're not being ridden off. Once those three elements are in place, you now have one tap and five seconds to either hit away at the ball or run with it. And that's basically delay of game. Uh, once you tap the ball, once you're in this situation and you tap the ball once, your umpire will say use it. That means hit away or run with the ball. If you're in this situation and you don't tap the ball at all and three seconds pass, your umpire will give you a warning. He'll say use it. That means you have a couple more seconds to either hit away or run with the ball before you get a whistle for delay of game. If you do get a whistle for delay of game, it will likely be a penalty hit for the other team uh, in an appropriate spot, uh, maybe from the spot, or if you're inside the 60, maybe one of the uh, penalty lines, depending on exactly where you are. So how does this play out commonly? And, and what do you need to know uh, simply for this rule? How this plays out commonly is a player will get the ball and turn it either to the right or to the left. And when you turn, you've got to slow down. Uh, even the high goal players slow down when they turn. So let's say you turn the ball and, you sl and you're going slow. Now, it, once you're defended within two horse lengths by a player from the opposing team, you, you're in the delay of game situation. Uh, of course, if you're not being ridden off or you're bat not battling for the ball, so you have control of the ball. So if that's in place, you'll, um, you'll likely have one tap and then you'll have to use it or uh, five seconds. Um, you'll be warned at three seconds. And that's, that's the basics of delay of game. Uh, the umpire saying use it is a courtesy while the rule is new. It is not a requirement for us to do that. There are times when we don't do that because we are out of position or we can't get there fast enough. Um, also, you should know that even if an umpire does say use it, sometimes there's an intervening factor between the time the umpire says use it and the time he's expecting you to use it. Generally, it's the player from the opposing team in front will start shading or blocking. Once they start that, we'll say clear to them and then we'll reset your clock. And, and you'll be back in the delay of game situation. Uh, but we can't control, once we say use it, what happens from that point forward. So that's something to be aware of. And to reduce this to its most simple form, which is the whole point of all of these videos, what do you as a player need to practically know about delay of game? If you have the ball, and you hear use it from the umpire. Your next play, you should hit away or run with the ball. And that's all you really need to know about delay of game.